The brake sits just above the pad on your random orbital sander. It rubs lightly against the pad and stops it from rotating when the sander is not touching a workpiece. Over time, the brake will wear out. When this happens, the pad will rotate at high speed when the sander is not on the workpiece. This often results in a gouge when the sander is first touched to the workpiece. Replacing the brake is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the pad from the sander. The brake is located just beneath the pad. To remove it, I can just pull it away from the housing. Now I can install the new brake. There are some small tabs on either side of the brake. Those tabs should align with the slots on the housing. Once the tabs are aligned, I can just snap the brake into the housing. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the pad. And now you know how to install a new brake on your sander. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.